Well, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So my name is Ashwini Priyadarshini Meghur, also known as Avi, and I'm a PhD student in the field of biology. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Skin1004 Synthella Ampule Foam. What are the different ingredients present in it and is it worth purchasing this product? This product is a cleanser which can be used for the sensitive skin type or normal or dry skin type and I did see that there are different ingredients present in it which are really good and I was enjoying seeing the whole ingredient list. If you guys are new to my channel, just make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Also, click on that bell icon so that you can be updated whenever I come up with a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram handle. This is my Instagram handle. It helps me as an influencer as well as a YouTuber to grow and reach out to more and more people. So as I was talking about this whole formulation, I was very, very excited because I did see that there were different mild surfactants because usually the cleansers are made up of surfactants. So here, all the surfactants are derived from the coconut oil and that is really good because the surfactants play an essential role in removing all the buildup of the day. Some surfactants are so efficient that they even go to the deeper pores and even remove the dirt from there and also the dead skin cells that can lead to formation of the comedons like the blackheads and the whiteheads and eventually clogging the pores which can look very dull on the skin. When I was going through the ingredient list I did see that there are three different surfactants and they are dominating ingredients. Usually these surfactants don't rip out the moisture from the skin and they do gently cleanse it. Usually some surfactants are so powerful that they even take out the natural oil from the skin which can lead to extreme dryness but these surfactants are quite stable. They are very gentle and they don't really cause any sort of irritation or dryness to the sensitive or else dry skin type. All right the three surfactants are sodium cocyl isothionate, sodium methyl cocyl taurate and then there is cocobetane. These are the three surfactants which are in the uh, dominating ingredient list. Then after that there is Synthella asiatica extract. It is also known as Gotobola. It is very good in antioxidant properties. It heals the skin. It improves the hydration and also leaves the skin calm as well as soft so it kind of leaves a calming effect if you have a compromised skin barrier then did i see that there is one to hexanidinol which is a humectant which helps with the hydrating properties as humectant pulls the water onto the top layer of the skin then there is also sodium hyaluronate another humectant it's a powerful humectant if not used properly it can draw out water from the deep layers of the skin so you need to make sure that your skin is quite damp when you're applying sodium sodium hyaluronic formulations because it has the tendency if you are applying it on the dry skin to draw out water from the deep layers and it also leads to more dryness so it's kind of you know 50 50 uh, ingredient for me I don't really like it as a ingredient itself but sodium hyaluronate does improve your skin if you are living in a moisture place and you apply sodium hyaluronate it just hydrates your skin like there is no tomorrow I love sodium hyaluronate if you, are living, if you are living in a moist area, then it's okay. But if you are living in very dry places, sodium hyaluronate is just not for you. Then I saw that in higher concentrations, there is citric acid. Usually citric acid is added into the formulations to adjust the pH because of a skin pH is 5. So if you make like more or like acidic, our skin starts to exfoliate. So the citric acid has made it a bit more acidic so that the exfoliation can take place. So here the citric acid is not in the end of the ingredient list, it's in the between. So it's in a higher concentration. When citric acid is added in a higher concentration, it gives an exfoliation effect, removing the dead skin cells. I did see that there are different pant derived extracts here. First is the cocoa extract, which helps with the anti-aging benefits as it's high in antioxidant property. Hence, it's a plant extract. Usually all plant extracts have the antioxidant potential. But here the cocoa extract is quite new for me because not a lot of formulations have cocoa extract. It's quite new to the skincare industry and they have used such an innovative ingredient. I like it. Then there is magnolia fruit extract. It helps with the anti-aging, soothing and hydrating properties. It is high in antioxidants again because it is a plant extract. Then there is Cosinia indica fruit extract. Then there is Eclipta prostrata extract. These two are the plant derived extract. They are very good with the antioxidant properties, also with the anti-aging benefits. 
So the overall formulation now, I really like as it is very straightforward. It is a gentle cleanser with gentle surfactants into it formulation and it helps to remove all the dirts and debris. To be honest, like, I in general enjoy these kind of you know formulations from Korean skincare. Skin 1004 does a very good job, but I made a video which was talking about the cleansing oil from Skin 1004 and there was this one ingredient which was high in fragrance. I went through this ingredient list thoroughly and I liked it that it is really good for all skin types and it doesn't have any comedogenic ingredient. If you are a dry skin type or a normal skin type, you are have sensitive skin, you have like compromised skin barrier and you want a formula that can remove the dirt and not rip the moisture away, then this formulation is go for. If you have oily skin or else combination skin, I would not suggest this formulation because it has mild surfactants and you need a bit powerful surfactants because you have more oil buildup and these mild surfactants won't remove the excess sebum that is produced on the skin. So this formulation is not for the people who have combination and oily skin type. Overall, I love the formulation. I think that if you are skin of color, as well as Caucasian skin and you have normal sensitive skin, you can use it. And I love that there is no fragrance and I love that there is no comedogenic ingredient. So it's like a plus, plus, plus. I give it a thumbs up for this formulation. So yeah, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, write down in the comment section below or else reach out to me on my Instagram handle. I will see you soon in another video. Take care and bye.